How would you like your Amazon products to convert sales at a higher rate than competitors to build keyword ranking and make ads cheaper? I'm going to talk about the commercial fisherman effect. Most sellers on Amazon are just casting single rods out there and they're really just trying a bunch of different marketing tactics not knowing what's going to work. They are doing a lot of experimentation and relying on hope and determination in the face of the unknown and expected. Just hoping that whatever the guru is telling them is going to work. Whatever marketing hack they come up with is going to get them sales. So they cast out a line over and over again. They cast out one line, maybe a few fish come back. They cast out another line, maybe another two or three fish come back. But only Amazon sellers with a triple optimized Amazon listing for high conversion rate can say, when I go fishing, every time I cast my net, I will catch hundreds of fish. Hi, I'm Danny Carlson, founder of Kenji ROI Amazon Agency and the Actualized Freedom Podcast all about selling on Amazon. And this presentation is going to be about how I create exponential Amazon sales growth, boost keyword ranking, make ads and product launches perform better with predictability. I'm also going to share with you the number one reason why many Amazon sellers flop while others crush it beyond belief, the three underlying principles that feed Amazon's algorithm and create desire in shoppers, and the secret to stealing clicks from competitors on search results pages leading to more sales. Everyone loves that. So here is some of the results that we have done for our clients here. You can see a few testimonials from previous clients, and this graph here shows an 11.22% conversion rate increase in 2.5 months. That is much higher than typical, but um, an 11.2% conversion rate increase can be thousands and thousands of dollars per month on a well-performing product. So everyone that I work with and myself, I try to do this as much as possible. Just think big and live even bigger. So you can see on the left here, this is me. I like to do a lot of sanding acrobatics. That's um, at a circus artist residency over there in Sambawa. They had good internet, so I could just go and uh, work and do some acro over there for a bit. And that's me on my motorcycle. I currently live in Bali, so I love ripping around motorcycles around the beautiful volcano roads around here. And then below that, those three guys there are from Seller Tradecraft. They are some eight-figure sellers that now teach other Amazon sellers how to be successful with their own Amazon business. And over there on the right is Kevin David. We are Kevin David's recommended provider for Amazon services, and he has sold more than $10 million online. So... If you are an e-commerce brand looking for a predictable way to maximize all marketing efforts on Amazon and explode your business to the seven or eight figure level, then you're definitely in the right place. Here are the top three categories of brands that I work with. Brands with established offline sales channels that haven't figured out Amazon yet. Or e-commerce startups with small teams lacking expertise with Amazon listing optimization. Or sometimes large brands looking to scale fast by offloading listing optimization to a proving partner and they probably don't have an in-house team for a lot of these services that we offer. So here's another one here. Conversion rate increase of 11.22% in this case with one of our clients netted $10,000 extra on a total of $50,000 in sales, right? So on those $50,000 of total sales, they would have had $10,000 less if they did not have that conversion rate increase over that period. And here's another 7.46% conversion rate increase over two months. Also a massive jump. Even just 2% can massively, massively change your keyword rankings, change the amount of sales that are coming in from your current traffic. And it's all just kind of a virtuous cycle that grows on itself, builds Amazon sales, which builds Amazon keyword ranking, which builds page one um, ranking for those keywords. And it's just a virtuous cycle. So I mentioned this before, we are recommended by Kevin David. He is a $10 million, he has sold more than $10 million online, and he now teaches a lot of Amazon sellers how to create their own profitable Amazon business. So he recommends us to all of his students for his Amazon courses. And in this presentation, I'm going to go deep into what a triple optimized Amazon listing is. So in its most basic form, a triple optimization is keyword optimization, key info communication, persuasive desire optimization. It's basically a mix of proven copywriting, algorithmic, and objection handling principles in perfect measure with each other. And we're going to dive into that much more later in this presentation. Now, in the Amazon FBA space, I'm sure that you've noticed that people fall into one of two categories. First, you have the doomsday preachers, people who complain how Amazon is too competitive, harder than it used to be, and nothing is working. They're just complaining and moaning in Facebook groups about how nothing works anymore and things are too hard. Or you have the sales screenshotters, 
people who post screenshots of their Amazon sales absolutely crushing it, making more and more money while spending less time on their business. These are probably the people that you want to be emulating. So what is it that allows some Amazon sellers to make millions while others make less than they could in a full-time job and struggle to make rent? After talking to hundreds of Amazon sellers and being in this industry for years, I've realized that the sales screenshotters have two things present in the businesses, while the doomsday preachers only have one of the two, or most of the time, none. And the truth is that if you have both of these things present in your e-commerce business, it becomes very easy and predictable to make a million dollars per year or more. But the Amazon FBA gurus will never tell you this, otherwise they would be irrelevant. They need everyone to believe Amazon success is incredibly complex so they can create videos about more and more advanced tricks and create courses about them and that's how they make their money. Fancy marketing hacks and strategies get the views on YouTube, it gets the clicks, the Facebook videos and Instagram because people are hungry for quick and easy wins. So here are some examples below. Five Amazon selling strategies to make money on Amazon FBA. I can tell you right now, if you're focusing on five different strategies at the same time, you're probably going to be very ineffective at all of them. Or how to launch your first Amazon FBA product. Six hacks to a home run success. Um, if you're focusing on six hacks, then I can guarantee you, you're not focusing on the real foundational skills and the systems that you need to create a profitable Amazon FBA business, which we're going to get into in a second here. If they all told you what you really need to focus on, there would be no need to follow them or to buy their courses. Most Amazon sellers are obsessed with the latest marketing tactic and completely ignore their system to convert traffic they do get into sales. Most sellers are obsessed and frenzied over the latest many chat bot, super URL, a fancy keyword ranking URL, or overly complicated marketing funnel that they're learning from one of these marketing gurus. But, this is the big but. In reality, they are trapping themselves, becoming reliant on the guru's next tricks and tactics rather than building systems that will work for years to come. That is one of the biggest mistakes I personally made in business when I was getting started out was focusing on these tricks and tactics because I thought that was the game. And in reality, I later started paying some people to teach me about all the foundational systems of a long-term sustainable business and that those really unsexy things are actually the drivers of successful businesses. It's not all about the marketing hacks. Now, remember how I told you that the screenshotters have two things in the businesses that the doomsday preachers don't? Here are the two things that you need for Amazon success. Number one, traffic to your listing when you launch your product to gain page one keyword ranking. That is a given, right? You need to game the Amazon algorithm so that your product shows up number one on the search results. And also a triple optimized Amazon product listing page that will turn traffic into your paying customers instead of your competitors. Because really, it all comes down to this. If shoppers find your competitors' products more appealing, their sales will drive their keyword ranking instead of yours, moving you off of page one search results and moving them up. So every sale that you get with a higher conversion rate is one less sale that your competitors get, right? It is a competition, a direct competition and game of comparison. Now let's get down to business here and show you exactly how you can create triple optimized Amazon listings to convert shoppers into sales starting today. When it comes to triple optimized listings, there's only three things that matter. It's optimizing your Amazon listing for the right keyword phrases, key info communication, and persuasive desire optimization. So these are a little bit complex topics. I'm going to dive into them more here. Your Amazon sales not doing well? Let me ask you this. Are your images optimized to manufacture desire and show specific key information in a way easily digestible on the Amazon mobile app? And if you're not showing up on page one search results for your main keywords, then answer me this. Are you placing your top keyword phrases in both your title and subject matter fields? And how certain are you that they actually are your top keyword phrases to target? This is super important. Hmm. You see, in the Amazon e-commerce space, it's very easy to get distracted by all these new shiny objects. But the raw reality is that keyword optimization, key info communication, and persuasive desire optimization are the only things that truly matter. The sales screenshotters in the Amazon e-commerce game, those players with the seven-figure profits, true liquid wealth, and sales days that will trump others' best sales months, they have a predictable strategy and process for generating sales, and they know exactly how to optimize these things to a T. So... 
When it comes to desire, persuasive sales copywriting, the images also play into effect here, but it's all about crafting desire for your product. And this is really when it comes down to it, the art of sales copy, getting into the mind of your customer, their pain points, their desires, their buying triggers, and then crafting your listing in a way that really speaks to those desires so that when it comes down to it, if they're comparing your product against the competitors, they're gonna choose yours every single time. And most people are visual learners, so they see things way better through images than through text. So it's really important to optimize, especially your main images at the very top, to show the main product benefits through image instead of relying on your bullet points and your title and your description to get those images across. So you can see here on the right, even if you don't have any text on the image, there's still so much information that you can get from one photo. If you're showing off um, some fitness wear, for example, you wanna show the model actually receiving the main benefits of that product in one of these lifestyle images. And here's some examples of how you can use images with text to really get the most important information across, right? So like on the left there, BPA free is something that people, if they're gonna be drinking out of something, it's one of the most important things. So this is a good example of information optimization. What is the most key information to show to the customer and how can you most effectively do that? And over on the right here, these images are also great for showing off the sizing of the image because we are on a computer or a mobile, people can't actually tell how big your product is. They're not in the store, they can't see it, they can't touch it, they can't feel it. And so a lot of the time, if your images are not super clear, people will think it is much bigger or larger, uh, bigger or smaller than it actually is, and they will leave a negative review because they thought they were getting something different. And here's an example of information optimization. We also have to think about the title and the bullet points, most specifically the title, because this is what shows up on the search results page. And if people are specifically looking for a very specific product, maybe it's um, they want foldable Bluetooth headphones, right? They have foldable pretty far back there in the title. I would say that that piece of information is more important than some of the other information before it. So I would put that up in the first 60 characters because that's what's gonna show up on someone's mobile screen when they're shopping. That first little snippet of the title should have the most important information and should be optimized for information optimization. And that is what gets you the click and gets you the money. Now, the people who are the doomsday preachers are not gonna be focusing on this kind of stuff. They are gonna to continue to be pushing the rock uphill on the struggle bus and continue to be doomsday preachers in all of the Facebook groups. And when you talk to them about all this kind of stuff, they all know that these are the fundamentals, but it's not about knowing, it's about actually doing. And when it comes down to doing, they're spending most of their time on the marketing hacks and much smaller amount of time on optimizing the things that are gonna make everything about an Amazon business work better that we're talking about here. So what does this system look like? Well, number one, it's about visual persuasion optimization. This is through photos and video. So a few quick tips on this. You wanna be using all the available image slots here. This actually is the positive ranking factor for Amazon's algorithm. And if you're not using all the image slots then you're just missing opportunities to show off the main product benefits to your customers. Um, and a scroll stopping main image is the most important image of them all because the main image is the one that's gonna show up on the search results page. And what I mean by scroll stopping is that it should be eye catching enough compared to your other competitors on page one search results that people will stop scrolling when they see that because you immediately stand out more than the competition and it looks better, right? So it should be on a pure white background with a graphic reflection effect to really make it stand out against a white background and really have that scroll stopping effect. Um, the lighting also has to be amazing. And lifestyle images, using models of the target demographic, so your actual shopper who would be buying this product, use a model of that exact same demographic and you wanna be showing a specific benefit in action. So the model actually in the act of receiving the main benefit. That is a super, super key thing that can be hard to pull off, but makes the images way more powerful. And also graphic design images with text calling out key information, which we showed you guys in one of the last slides there. And there's a bit of a process to this. So how do we do this? We define the deep benefits each product feature provides, then show it visually in the most effective photo type. So I always do something called the ask why three times method. If you wanna find the true deep benefit of a feature, you ask why that feature is good three times. And then by the time you've done it three times, you'll be at the real deep benefit. And once you have that, then you wanna craft your photo around that. So 
Is it better showing off in a graphic design image with some text? Is it better showing off in a lifestyle image with a model? Or can it just show that deep benefit with a studio image just by maybe zooming in on the texture of the image? Um, each deep benefit can be shown best in one of those three photo types. And then you need to enable the shopper to visualize and feel what their life will be like when they own your product. So this one is best done by lifestyle images with a real model, right? This is how people visualize and feel that. If they can see another human being having the same emotions they would have if they're receiving that main benefit that you're showing in the photo, then they can visualize and they can feel that feeling for themselves. And this creates really, really strong desire in Amazon shoppers. It has a huge effect on conversion rate when you can pull this off correctly. And then we optimize the text. So it's not enough just to have a beautiful listing. You also need to feed Amazon's algorithm with maximum relevancy, not volume. So you need to have the right keyword phrases that are the most relevant to your product instead of keyword stuffing it with a whole bunch of things that are like somewhat related, but not really related. It used to be the case where you just pump Amazon's algorithm with as many like somewhat related keywords as possible and that would bring more traffic to your listing. But we're finding now that that actually hurts the algorithm and you wanna have maximum relevancy with your keywords. And we identify the most relevant high volume keyword search phrases. So they also have to be high volume enough. You can't just put in like a bunch of keywords that maybe 100 people are searching for a month. It's just not really worth your time and it's not worth the valuable space. You want to be optimizing for both the most relevant and the high volume phrases. And then we got to place them in the right places. So the listing title, the subject matter, the search terms, bullet points, and description text fields. And the title and subject matter are reserved for the best phrases and are repeated across multiple fields. The other fields that I mentioned there are less important, so we place the less important keywords in those fields. So really, it is the marriage of these three things, attention grabbing key information to get the person to click on your listing over your competitors and actually get their attention. And then it's all about persuasive desire creation. So showing off mostly with the images, and if you have enhanced brand content, um, Amazon brand registry, you have access to videos, um, A plus content, all of these good things that are good too. Um, and then just also the copywriting with persuasive sales copywriting, and then the Amazon algorithm. So getting the sales, you have a higher conversion rate, it's gonna boost Amazon's algorithm, it's gonna bump you up into the top page of the search results for your main keyword phrases, which will in turn get you more sales and continue to feed the algorithm. So as long as you have the right keywords in there, that whole process can all take place beautifully in harmony. And the result of executing this correctly is that your conversion rate will be higher than competing brands, driving more sales and more ranking in a virtuous cycle. And the best part, Amazon ads will convert at a lower price, leading to even lower clicks and more ranking, equaling to more sales. So if money you're spending on advertising, you're gonna be getting more returns for that same amount that you're spending, then you can afford to spend more money on ads you will finally have that fishing net that catches more and more fish the longer you tow the boat. So cracking the code here. It's all about keyword optimization, product photography, shot list creation, matching the shot list for your images to the main benefits of the product, persuasive sales copywriting. It's all about really getting down to the core benefits of your product and presenting those benefits to the customer. Amazon ads management. So managing your Amazon ads to be the most effective and get the most conversions for the cheapest amount of money. Videography is a massive conversion rate increase for those who can get a video on their listing and graphic design in both your A plus content description and your main images at the top. And boom shakalaka when you line them all up, we have cracked the code and we have some rocking sales on Amazon. So here is an example. Sales tripled over two months. So we did the A plus content and full listing copywriting optimizations for this brand here, the uh, big blind spill proof poker cards, and the sales tripled over two months. And now they're roughly selling 300 units per month. And Glenn Murmur here, we optimized photos and copywriting and keywords. And it's a brand new product that was not let yet launched on Amazon. We got him ranked on page one and he has stayed there as him and his wife over there enjoying what looks like a very beautiful restaurant. And here's a new product launch that we got them to $7,192 per month on just this one product. Um, after one and a half months of sales, he was number three in the files and handles category, number 10,000 in the tools and home improvement category. Now, you must have the right system to generate these results. You can do this the hard way. They're 
for an example, on a lock, there are 10,000 plus different combinations on just a four digit lock. So while it is possible to get this kind of information and figure things out, it probably take you a long time and take a lot of time and money to figure out what the correct combination is. Or the easy way, the smart way is to find people who have done it before, who have experience creating reliable results in these kind of systems and get their help to execute it. Just go get the code and unlock it, right? Instead of sitting there trying to figure out the code for as long as possible. So who else wants their Amazon products to convert sales at a higher rate than competitors to build keyword ranking and make ads cheaper? This is not for everyone. This is for people who want to make expensive product launch promotions more effective, steal sales from competitors to drive your keyword ranking instead of theirs, make Amazon ads convert more effectively and become cheaper, and also to use the same images, video, and copy to build your Shopify store. You can get more for your investment if you also use this to build a Shopify store and expand from off of Amazon. And currently, I'm looking for only my dream clients. So these are some of the people we worked with in the past, and I want to find more clients that are like them. And for me, I'm not interested in a few people. So I'm going to go over who I want to work with and who I do not want to work with. So if you fall into the category of my dream client, I would love to work with you. So like I said earlier, we work with three types of clients. Number one, brands with established offline sales channels that haven't figured out Amazon. E-commerce startups with small teams lacking expertise with listing optimization or large brands looking to scale fast by offloading listing optimization to a proven partner. So who is this for? It's for people overwhelmed with all the different pieces of an e-commerce business. It's for businesses lacking the knowledge and skills for persuasive sales copywriting, keyword optimization, professionally lit product photos, or graphic design and video. It's for businesses working with too many freelancers, creating a messy end result and a lot of miscommunications. It's for e-commerce brands that don't have a trusted mentor for selling on Amazon successfully and aren't really sure on what strategies they should be executing. And it's also for people that understand they, have, they need to have some kind of skin in the game. It's not cheap to work with us, and we need to work with brands that understand that in order to be successful, they need to invest in things in their business to create long-term wealth. Who is this not for? It is not for people that sell low-quality products that will get negative reviews because, to be honest, we can't polish up a turd. It needs to be a good quality product. And it's not for brands unwilling to run a product launch. So you need to be able to run a product launch. Um, we do not handle actually the product launches. We only handle the core fundamentals that will make the product launches more effective. It is not for people who want to control and do everything themselves. We don't want to work with busybody clients who want to treat us like they, we are just an extension of their employees. We do not want to work with people who have a quick win or short term mindset. Only people who have a long term mindset that understand that it's going to be hard work investing in their business and they need to make the right moves for long term success. The better the fit, the better the results that we're getting. And I'm going to look for win wins only. I don't want to work with people that we are not positive that we can get good results for. So this is the offer right here. This is a personal custom tailored one on one strategy session with you and me. And this is where we really begin working to figure out what you want and how to make it happen in the fastest time possible. And just a warning here, time is a factor and this window of opportunity will not be open for long at all. We can only take on a certain amount of these calls because they can be time consuming. We really go into the nitty gritty details of your business, identify the true problems and then see if we can work together in a positive way that's gonna get a win-win result. So we're not gonna be offering these forever and the spots close up pretty quickly for quite a long term out. So go below right now and click to apply to see if you qualify. If you qualify, then we will reach out to you and we'll schedule one of these strategy calls. And if we work well together, then maybe you will be one of my next dream clients. So go ahead and click the button below this video and see if you qualify.